Hi folks, well part two of the um, old uh, bunny tractor. Um, I've got quite a bit done, uh, I've had to do some running about. The doctors yesterday is trying to convince me to have a prosthetic knee. I don't think that's going to happen in the next couple of years, they don't last very long. But anyway, the tractor build, it carries on. There will be a part, th part three, the actual finishing bit, but I've got well on with it now. I'm uh, almost there. I'll get on with it. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Drop a comment in, love your comments, and thanks to all new and old subscribers. Nice to be nice. So I've got all the bits together, sorted, and I've uh, given one coat of stain. This is uh, animal friendly stain. I've got to stain it. I'm just going to try and dry fit it together and try and get on with it. I've got to give it a second coat, but I'll do a dry fit just to see what it looks like. And that's going to look a little bit like that. Now, it is Sunday today, so I can only paint. I'm going to, obviously you can see, it's very badly painted, I want the first coat. I've got to get another coat. Um, I will probably fit all the mesh before I put it together. And the underside, what I've decided to do is make a second frame like that on the underside. Reason being is that's always going to be in contact with ground yeah so by doing that that second piece like that would be sacrificial which means if the bunnies live a long time it will be a lot easier to replace one of them than one of them than the actual bottom piece so that's something I'm going to do. It's a bit of extra work now, but it'll probably save me a lot of grief in the long run. One other thing I didn't mention, I've got to calculate how much of this uh, concrete board I've got. There might not quite be enough. So I'll have to see at that. I'll have to look at that. Yes, as I feared, I need another piece, although these weren't bought for that anyway, so but I'll have to find another piece or something else to put to use as a top. Right then, that's the second coat on them. I've still got, let's say, another frame similar to that. I won't have a piece in the middle though, and then that will go on bottom. That's just pressure held together still, there's no screws in it or anything. It were easier to do all stood up and get to all the sides. Just need to do the bottom of that. So guys, I've got to put this on. And what I'll do is clamp it at one end, because it's always fun, and making sure that the curl is going down. Uh, I could use that to put it on, that's what I did the quail cage in. But I'll be using these, I bought these for, for nail gun, and as I can do this in here, then it's not a problem. Let's see how we get on today.
So, that's the last bit. That is the piece that's going to go on bottom, the extra bit that I made. I've actually glued that together with uh, cork. I thought it might just help protect it a little bit more as it's going on the ground. Um, I bought another piece of this, which is out here. And these are rest of pieces. This is the top, which I folded that over on sides. I don't want to mess about. I wish I'd have cut that a little bit longer and folded it over like that, but it is what it is. So what I'm going to do is get some paint on that now, and then start building the hutch. So guys, this is my weapon of choice to cut this. There are the odd pin in it. So this has got a sacrificial blade on it. The blade's all right, it's sharp, but there's a couple of teeth that knocked off it. So it won't hurt it if I do nip something that is, um, well, metal. <laughs> um, good old fashioned painting horses. And I'm using this as my guide. Now what I'll do is I'll cut this, this is for obviously for the sides. Yeah, so I'll cut this side and then I'll cut it to length from whatever, turn that over, mark it, because whatever that angle is, it'll match it in opposite direction. It's just cutting one angle instead of several, yeah. I bought this actually a few weeks ago, but it was cheap. It's okay, it's not fantastic. I've had to put an extra clamp on it and the clamp that comes with it, the clamp's still there, yeah. It doesn't really give you a good purchase, as in it can do that. But with a second clamp, it'll do. Incidentally, I'm running against that edge here. From that edge to my saw blade, to this side of my saw blade, it's 28 millimeters. So therefore, that is 28 millimeters. Yeah, that's the line I want to cut. 28 millimeters millimeter back for my guide. Most people know that, some people might not, so I just thought I'd mention it. Just to recap, like I said, flip that over, line it up, and mark it here. Then 28 millimeter back, cut the next cut. So all the bits cut, and I've got to cut a bunny size hole in here. <laughs> How big's a bunny? It's a good question, isn't it? Fifteen wide and fifteen high. Maybe eighteen high. And fifteen wide. Keep it over to one side so that then you can have a dark space and draft free space on the other side. One of these boards I'm gonna to have to um, well the front of this board here I'm gonna to have to extend up ten centimetres. Cut another piece off this and um, and connect it to it. So ten centimeters, I think it is. It went sixty up front. Yeah, ten centimeters. So I'll probably just yeah, I'll probably route it and just put a piece of tongue in it and glue it together or maybe I'll just not maybe I'll think of something else but it's got to be on
So, I think that should be big enough without being too big. Just nip round it with um, rasp, just to uh, knock the high bits off. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to fit this together, screw it up. It could be a temporary thing, just to make sure everything fits and it's going to go where it needs to go. And then when I finally fix it, I'll cork it as well. Cork it and screw it, or blow it and screw it. I won't be fitting top on at this particular point. I'm just going to get sides on. And, um, and the bottom. Let's see what it looks like. So, start putting it together. I've only gone for two screws, like I said, I've got to take it apart again. Everything's right size, except this will be the front facing inside. <laughs> That's in the wrong place. So, I'll take that out and bring it to this side. You see, always better to look at things before you start putting glue on it. Eh? And it all fits. I'm going to screw it to the base. Like I said, I'm not putting top on, I've got to cut, cover all these cut edges with some stain. I've only got one on outside at base. That's how I tried to do it. I tried to keep all factory sided stain on outside, you know what I mean? I think my daughter wants to paint it anyway. Pink. <laughs> you know, she gets white rabbit, she says she's gonna call them snowball and rainbow. So there you go. But as I say, I've got to cut that piece in and um, let's say take it apart and re glue it. I, I was going to slot that, but I'm not. I'll, what I'll do is I'll cut a piece measuring from there to there, yeah, not there to there, or otherwise I'll have a sticky up bit there. And then I'll, I'll glue that with um, cork and all the rest of the edges with cork and it should be solid waterproof. Roof again, I've got to slightly extend. I've got, I've left myself a, an overhang. I'll put it up here. I've left myself a, an overhang. Yeah. With about a centimetre on each side. But because of the slope, it leaves me that much. And what I'll do is I'll use a, another piece of lat. piece of that across that and minge will go to that and I'll, then I've got to find something to cover that top with with a proof in it wise but that will be tomorrow will be part three the reason is oh, it's now nearly caught to I've got to take my daughter down for a music lesson and number two son the little one goes to sport and then I've got to pick them up, so that'll be me done on this video. And I've also got to get that second coat and put the wire on it. That will be the base. One thing I will say is the hutch will be that much off the ground. I'll put the hutch, the hutch will be mounted up on top of that. So the hutch will be that much off the ground, which is I'm thinking again, just for water-wise. And if I've got wheels at the other end, it'll make it stable anyway, because then the wheels will just be touching ground. But when you lift it up, obviously, it's coming off the ground. And the frame, it'll be attached into the frame, up to here, I changed its lifetime going all the way up to here, because that'll give me that much more stability for when you're picking it up. There's not going to be any bend. So, Part three, we'll put it all together and do it finishing touches. Nice to be nice. <laughs>